Hello and welcome to this Python automation tutorial where today we're going to be looking to take PDFs, you know, or HTML, text, doc files and convert them into audiobooks using Python and a specific Python library called PYTTSX3. So it's a simple to use text to speech Python library and it allows you to read any text from a PDF, text, doc file, HTML page and listen to it like an audiobook. So the first thing that we need to do is actually install PYTT SX3 by using the pip command in your terminal or CMD. Um, now I'm going to go through a basic example first and then we're going to look to, you know, sort of build on that and, and do a more complex example, show you some more of the functionality um, by using PDFs. So we need to import PYTT SX3 um, when we run this file. And we also need to initialize the library, forgive that comment, that misspelling. So we just need to take the engine and initialize it. After that, in this first example, just to show you how it works, we're not going to use a PDF. We can actually just provide some text. So um, the reason this came about is to consume data analysis literature for myself, but without having to read it, have it on in the background with a Python audiobook. We then just need to take that text and tell the engine to say it. And by using the run and wait command, we can listen to the audio file. This is really going to help me to consume my data analysis literature efficiently. So without any formatting or tweaking, which we're going to look at next in this more um, complex example, we can see it works, runs well, and we can save the file. So let's look at how we would do it using a PDF. So we can import PYPDF2, which is our PDF reader uh, library that we're going to use. And it's also important to note that, you know, you, you may need to install this using pip as well. So actually to read the PDF file, you're going to see me using comments. I'll separate the code quite clearly. Maybe I wouldn't do this typically, but for the, the example of the video, it's going to be helpful. So you're going to see a few different things that I'm going to comment because this will help when I'm actually writing the code here. So the first thing that we need to do is actually read the PDF file before we get into any of the, the sort of audio functionality. So we can say the PDF file, that variable is equal to opening the location of the PDF file on my local computer. So I'm just going to type that in quickly because I know. Um, and then I'm actually going to use uh, RB within single quotation marks. And that means, as you can see in the comment, we're reading the file in binary mode and that's going to help us locate everything and I'm going to use strict false later and that's going to help me with potential error handling because sometimes you get malformed PDFs. So we're going to have the reader variable here as well and I'm going to set that equal to the PDF file reader functionality within the PYPDF package. So we'll say we want to read that PDF file which is equal to the actual PDF and like I said strict is equal to false and in Atom my text editor I use Control shift b to run my file just occasionally to check that everything's working if you were using longer scripts it's going to help you um, drill down on potential errors if you have many it's worth noting that you could be using Jupyter Notebook, Sublime Text, whatever, Google Colab, I'm using Atom. Now next up we need to count the number of pages in our chosen document so I'm going to say the number of pages is equal again to the reader. So that PDF file reader, that variable we named it with and the, the function get number of pages. Now what we can do is we can use the init function to begin our engine instance. Again, that engine that we use with the PYTTSX3 library, initialize it, get everything going. And I can actually have a for loop that I iterate through if this was a large PDF document, it's not here, it's just a test where we could take the range. And as you can see there, we indent the block after the for loop. So for example, this could just be one page or you could iterate over 40 or 400 pages if you want to create an audiobook and save it from a PDF document, for example. So again, I'm going to assign the reader.get page and the range, so the page that is currently iterating through and assign that to page. So that's fairly self-explanatory. And this is going to flow quite logically. 
Next thing I need to do is extract the text from the designated PDF page. So again, I'll use the page in the extract text function and I'll just run the file again, check that there's no errors present there. Now, the next thing I need to do is we can go through and set the audio speed and volume. So we can set rates for that. Um, obviously it's at 200 now, which is the recommended sort of audio speed. You could set it to be faster or slower. You know, sometimes if you're learning, you might want to see things at, you know, one and a half speed or two speeds. So equally you could make that 400 if you want to get through something very quickly and maybe you're just refining your knowledge, that would be good. Again, we can set the volume and we can just use this set property function to, to go through everything and tweak it there, the volume, and we can, can assign that with, with new volume. It's also worth noting that it comes with, the package comes with two standard voices, an index zero we can use for male or one for female. I'm gonna use female um, at the end of this exercise. I think it's uh, it's a bit less harsh. I think there is a way to, to invoke sort of custom voices. You can do it through the Windows settings as well. Um, so you could do that. Uh, we're not gonna focus on that currently. I just want to give you an overview into how to do this, but certainly it's worth looking into. So we just need to say, the voices are equal to the engine get property voices and then we can set that property to either the voice with one in the angled brackets or zero if we want a male voice and then we can go through we're starting to sort of close this up where we want the engine to say the page content so if you remember that's equal to the text extraction just above again very logical flow and we'll just go through the last sort of settings so we're going to save to file and we can choose what that file is going to be called. And then we'll go through and we'll use the run and wait to actually get things moving. And then just stop to sort of um, flush the queue for the next, if we're going to run this again. And then we can, we can go ahead and, and listen to some of this text. This is where predictive analytics becomes important and how you employ this data will distinguish your business from competitors. Predictive analytics can create strategic opportunities for you in the business market, giving you an edge over the competition. So as usual, if you enjoyed this content and you want to see some more of my data analysis, Python, Power BI, SQL content, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe and share. Thank you.